a warm summer's evening and good conditions on two metres. So it's Thursday evening, a few minutes before the VK7 SSV net on two metres. Uh, Thursday nights, 8.30 p.m. local, 144.190. So I've only got five watts with me, but I'll see if I can be heard down across the Bass Strait, down in that direction, in Tasmania. The antenna is a two element Yaki made out of old TV rabbit tears antennas. Yeah, VK7JON, VK3 Yankee Echo Portable. Uh, good evening, Jonathan. You are five and seven, five and seven, five and seven. Over. Okay, Peter, I got you. Thanks for the 57. I've got you five and one, 51. VK7JON, VK3YE Portable. VK3 CWF Portable Ballarat, VK3 YE. I'm beaming towards you, I think you are 5 and 3, 5 and 3, over. Yeah, Roger Peter, you're also 5 and 3. I've got to go, I'm going to uh, check in on the other one. 7 3. Oh, well, I'll kick off now. Uh, Mike is doing a computer call. We do a call on Mount Duncan VK7 RMD for any VK7 that we can't hear on SSB, so I think he's done that, so I'll start this off. Good evening everyone, welcome to the Northwest Tassie 2 metre DX net. The net's held every Thursday night, commencing this time on this frequency, 144.190, up the side. The net's aimed to encourage more activity on the 2 metre band from VK7. We encourage stations located in the state on VK7JON, tonight's net controller, and Mike, VK7 Mike Delta, will act as a backup relay. Um, now I've already got the, the following stations uh, uh, checked in or, or noted for tonight's net. So I'll just go through the list and so then we'll check if there's anyone else there. I've got VK3 Yankee Echo who's portable at Chelsea Beach. I've got Brody VK3 Mike Alpha Papa. I've got uh, Paul VK3 Delta Alpha who I think is on the morning of the Peninsula. Apologies Paul if I've got that mixed up. Uh, I've got Bill, VK3, Charlie Whiskey Fox, who is portable uh, in the Ballarat area, I believe. And Steve, VK3, Zulu Hotel. So is there anyone else uh, wanting to check in? Please call now. So VK3, so VK3, India, Tango, Oscar, Tango, good evening. VK3, VK3, Mike Hotel. Okay, I got uh, VK3II and VK3 Mike Hotel, but there was just a sea of voices. Can the others please call again? VK3 India Kilo. Okay, VK3 ZAT and also Chris VK3 IK. Uh, anyone else please go? VK3 Tango. 
Sayori, as you bring Brenton, uh, N8, uh, sorry, was it Kilo Alpha? VK3 Alpha Romeo Tango. Okay, VK3 Echo Kilo Alpha, good evening, uh, please go ahead the other side. VK3 Alpha Romeo Tango. Uh, okay, was that a Delta Charlie you had part of it? Okay, you Bill. Thank you for that. I think that's everyone. Is there anyone else there? One last check. Get with you there. All right. Uh, well, we'll get started here. I think what we'll do, uh, Dave, um, we'll start with you. Um, do you want to? I'm not sure. We've got so many stations checked in here. Do you want to just see who you can work there, Dave? Would that work? VK7DC. Uh, go ahead. Yes, I've, I've probably missed a couple. 7DC VK3TOT. You're. Um, yeah, 15 DB over 9 there, uh, there, Dave, over. Yeah, I'll give you about 20 here, you excellent signal. No problem at all, Andrew. Uh, VK3 TOT, VK7 DC. OK, uh, no problem. Um, I'll keep moving. Yeah, VK3 YE portable here, yeah, about 5 and 5, over. No problems, quite uh, quite clear and out of the noise, no problems, over. We'll start at the bottom of my list, uh, VK3 DA, uh, your 5 and 5 last heard, VK7 MD, over. It's not long into the net and it's been successful, even right now. Works have been VK7 JON, VK7 MD, VK3 CWF, who's portable in the other direction towards Ballarat, VK3ZH in outer eastern Melbourne and VK7DC again down in VK7 uh, at Burnie. So a good list but I'll keep going and see if there's any other stations that I can work. But it's certainly been a worthwhile reason for, to go portable with conditions like this. And with some hot days forecast we're going to be up to 38 tomorrow, that's degrees C then it's likely to be continued enhanced conditions over the next few days. As an example, I left my whisper station on last night and was detected over in VK6, a distance of around 2200 kilometers. That was when running 20 watts to a four element Yagi. Anyway, we'll keep going and see what else we can hear and work from this location. That's been quite helpful. VK3 AFV, VK3 AFW. Would you there, uh, Eric? If, uh, if you want to try and work him, he's portable down at the beach. Um, uh, go ahead there, Peter. Roger, I've worked that out to turn the swell shop. VK3YE, VK7EV. VK7EV, VK3 Yankee Echo, VK3YE Portable, 5x5, five 5x5, by five, five by five, over. Uh, Roger Peter, you'll be a 2-2, two two, a 2-2. Two two. Thanks for the contact, I do know you're there. But uh, very weak unfortunately, but great to talk to you on 70 centimetre simplex. Roger, Roger, Eric, uh, you are now fully quieting. You are getting stronger, you are getting stronger. Uh, just running five watts to a dipole. Five watts to a dipole on the beach, over. Five watts and on the beach, that's awesome, Peter. I'm bumping 25 watts into a uh, tri-band base antenna, so you're doing a great job, over. Yeah, thanks, uh, Eric. Uh, actually using a two-element, two-metre Yagi, two-element, two-metre Yagi, but probably just a dipole here. Great to work you. My first ever VK7 on 70 centimetres. And uh, you're a great signal here now. VK7EV, VK3YE Portable, Chelsea Beach. No worries, Peter. Thank you very much for the contact. That's the first, that's the first for me, and uh, great to hear you on... Uh, 439 simplex. Thanks for the contact there, Peter. VK7EV going clear of VK3YE and listening. Alpha Charlie Zulu. I think it was VK3 Alpha Charlie Zulu. You might correct me on that. Uh, VK7EV.
can see the antenna here is sloping. It was horizontally polarized, but I put it as near to vertical as I can, as there is quite a bit of cross polarization loss. The other thing is that it's a two element Yagi for two meters, but it being the third harmonic on 70 centimeters, at least the driven element works sort of as a three half wavelength dipole. So, yep, this antenna is passably good on both bands. Not very high off the ground. This antenna, as you can see, is only about three meters or so off the ground. And as to the path towards VK7, um, it's not really over the water. There's a bit of land, but it, it does drop off. Um, it would have been better if it was out in that direction, but it's not. I think it's, it's down in this direction. So, uh, yep, it's been a very good and successful evening on both 2 meters SSB and 70 centimeters FM. Also shows that even if you don't have SSB on FM, you can still make some long distance contacts.